Christian McComb, Irish Sports Daily, out here at the opening day two with 2018 Missouri receiver Cameron Babb. Cameron, first of all, just tell us what this experience has been like so far. Uh, you know, it's been amazing, you know, competing with some of the best athletes in the world, you know, just learning from the best, like Jerry Rice, you know, receivers like that has been in uh, the NFL and played the position. So, you know, just learning from the pros and just what they uh, can give to me and, you know, what I can take out of them. So. What, what, is there anything specific you're looking to gain out of to get this whole experience? Uh, you know, everything, everything I can, you know, just taking advantage of it. You know, I'm blessed to have this opportunity. There's a lot of, you know, people that play football that want, would love to be in the position that I am. So, you know, just taking advantage of everything I, I can, you know, just enjoying it all and bringing it all into me. As far as recruiting goes, I mean, where are you at right now with your recruitment? Uh, recruitment right now, I'm still, I got to my top nine. So, you know, still trying to, you know, take my time with it. Uh, you know, just evaluate all my schools, you know, talk to some mentors and family, you know, just see, you know, what's really right for me and my family, and you know, ultimately what uh, provides, you know, the best life for after football for me. So, you know, just trying to figure it out. Still got plenty of time, just take my time. And Notre Dame is one school you're still considering? Yes, sir. What is it about Notre Dame? Uh, you know, just they got great, you know, great football team, of course, but uh, one thing that really catches my eye is, you know, their academics, you know, you know, what they can give me off the field and, you know, what they provide with life after football. So, you know, just uh, seeing, your, you know, their history, you know, with academics, and you know how their uh, student athletes do. You know it's something you always got to look at because um, it's always bigger than football. So. Who, who do you talk to most over there? Uh, I talk to mostly everybody. Not you know certainly one person, but you know a lot of people. You know, but you know just creating those relationships with all the coaches, not just one or two coaches, but all of them. So you know just building the relationships as time goes on. You know getting used to them. You know them meeting my family and stuff like that has been great. So just you know every day building that relationship. You've been there before. I mean, are you gonna try to get back there again? Yes, yeah, so I do plan. I do not know when. Um, you know, still trying to figure out. You know, a family. You know. It's my last like actual summer, so you know, just trying to figure it out. Uh, you know, see what I can during the season. You know, just figure it out with my family. And how about timeline-wise for decision? Do you have a timeline? Uh, no, I do not. You know, it's still trying to you know figure it out. I don't know if it's going to be during the summer, or, you know, football season or after. You know, just still trying to you know, take my time with it and figure it out. And, and in the end, you kind of talked about, but what's going to be most important for you when you're picking one school? Uh, you know, like I always say, just you know, it's bigger than football. So life after football, and uh, I think one thing you got to be comfortable at your school. Uh, that's a big thing for me. So just being comfortable, you know, with they can provide for me after football. Thanks a lot.